welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper on a kind of okay Monday afternoon here on Eastern Mars. So, oh, hi, L.A. Linda Army is L.A. to me. Yep, they're coming. So, anyway. So I used some of my deli paper, uh, jelly print, deli, jelly, oh, holly cow. My jelly plate prints. So I've got like a, the pink and orange. Well, it's actually blue, violet, and my orange. And then the orange with some yellow to make the kites. So you can see that the kite here is four pieces. So I'm going to do opposite corners of the different colors. Okay, now I don't have enough cut out for all of the cards yet. I just got enough cut out for these ones, I think, to make enough to make 10 so far. So that is the plan. So I'm making goodbye cards for our staff. Our staff has what we call a joy and sorrow fund, and that covers you know, sympathy cards, we're sorry you're sick cards, um, happy birthday cards, and then these end of the year gifts and cards. And I hadn't paid my 30 bucks to this <clears throat> yet. I won't explain on air why. But anyway, in lieu of paying the $30, I offered to make the goodbye cards. It'll save them four bucks a card from the fund to go out, so it'll save them more than their 30 bucks, that's for sure. So, hi Diane, nice to see you. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to actually use my Kiritaki watercolors for the first time today to do watercolor the sky and the, I was going to do a sun I might kind of do like a little bit of a sunset kind of thing happening but we'll see I don't think so for the retirement card I'm actually going to do a, a sunset uh, theme but now the first thing I need to do I'm going to have to use this tape for some reason I can't find my roll of painters tape on my desk ha so the first thing I'm going to have to do is cut down my papers. I'm making 5 by 7 cards because there has to be room for people to sign. Hey Janet, nice to see you. So the cards are going to be 5 by 7 so oh, I wonder then I could make the actually four by six. Maybe I should just use my four by six paper pad. That's what I'm going to do. Hold on, please. What a moment. I'm sorry to those watching the recording, but I'm going to mute for a minute. Okay. It's just over there. Not very far, but Um, on a normal day, it's e hard, tough for me to get out of my chair, but wrapped like a mummy, it's even more of an effort. So I will be right back. Muting. Muting.
Okay, I'm still thinking that these are going to be too small. <sighs> On a 5 by 7 yeah, I don't want it that much smaller. It'll be too small for the... Yeah, I made the sentiment... I just realized I made the sentiment and the kites to fit 5 by 7 so if I do the background on 4 by 6 it'll be too squishy. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, going back to my first plan. So, I don't know how much of the how many of these I'll do on screen. We'll see. Okay. Back to my original plan. So. Cut it at seven inches first. Okay, I usually remember to unmute. I think there was only once I forgot to unmute. And yes, I did keep talking after I muted, but I was talking to myself. <laughs> so you guys did not need to hear that. That's at seven, and then five. And I'll do it right at five by seven so that if, oops, if I need to, I can trim it down a little bit. But we'll see, that way it gives me a little to come and go on. Oh. So, cut four for now and see how it goes. All right, where are my... yourselves oh there's one but I can use my Tim Holtz wide one where is my wide water brush and if I don't find it I'll just use a regular water brush I know it's in here somewhere but I got so much stuff stuffed in here uh. I know it might be in my set that I stuff that I took home. Hmm. It might be my wide one. Okay. Well, I'll just use use this for wetting it then. Huh. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Did I cut this? Gosh darn. I forgot what I was doing. Yep. Okay. Uh, I did cut it down. Diane, you're right. Yeah, these are these are the card fronts. I'm making the card just out of 110 pound. 
110 pound cardstock. And they'll be five by seven. They'll open uh, portrait wise because of the design. Hey, bunny. So these are the fronts of the cards. Now, since I have to use this tape instead of my I'm going to just uh, de-sticky it a little bit on my shirt. There should be enough cat fur on it to make sure it does not wreck. The paper. This is just a plastic cutting board. Just enough to keep the paper nice and flat and I'm going to make sure that the edges are nicely oh hi Sherry hey Pam I don't remember if I said hi to Pam or not yet Probably shouldn't use my heat gun on this plastic mat, but I will be drawing it with my heat gun. Oh, that's not quite long enough. I'll put that there for the next one. Hey, Linda, it's just, it's craft boxing tape is what it's called. I bought it at... Uh, FineTape.com when I bought my but usually I just use painters tape but I couldn't find my my roll of painters tape it's probably on the floor under my desk but anyway whatever all right so first things first Oh gosh, I didn't, didn't, oh, oh. and I don't know where, I hope I have a clean, oh I do, Phew. I have a clean plastic plate here to use as a palette. I'm using my Kuretake paints that I bought on Amazon. Sheesh Louise, there's a lot to this. All right, so I'm just gonna put a, so I'm just gonna need blues and greens. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water and spray my blues and my greens here. So, okay. Oh, good night, Diane. I missed her going by. Okay. Now I'm going to wet the entire paper, even though my first color isn't going to go all the way down, because I'm going to do the sky first, and I need something to, I'll, put, I'll use my tape, oops, I'm going to put my tape underneath this, just so my water runs, my paint runs down a little. 
Okay. All right, this isn't the greatest brush for wetting my paper because it's not holding much. It's not a watercolor brush, so it's not holding much water. But there, that should do the trick. All right. So, put that upside down there. Okay. Now, I don't know if this has enough water in it. I don't know if it has any water in it. Oh, it does have some. I got some water coming out of it. I can never tell where the water is on the water brush. But I can hear it, so there is some. Okay. So I want a nice, pretty blue sky. So, and I should have a white palette so I can see the colors. But anyway, I, I don't. I don't know where my palettes are. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. This will do the trick. It will have to do the trick. Oh, just a second. I got my water bucket turned the wrong way there. Okay, that way. All right. Oh, gosh, Jean, you silly girl. <laughs> My blue was on the other side. Okay, now it's over there. Now the reason I wet it all the way down, even though I'm not going all the way down with the blue, is because I don't want a harsh line where the sky stops. I should put two on here and do two at the same time. Twinster! Hello, hello, hello! Oh, Twinster, see? She tries to tell me that she's not the evil one, but just look at that comment if you need proof. Alright, I'm just sopping up that blue that's going down there. I don't want it to mix with the green necessarily. Not that it would be awful. Okay, now I need my green. Oh, sorry, I forgot my paper towel. So that's my blue. Now my green. I'm going to use this nice Kelly green, I think. Look for the grass. For the first layer, anyway. I just want a background. So I'm going to start a little bit below the sky. So this, I'm just doing simple backgrounds for the cards. There we go. Make it so it's not totally level. Give a little hill there. I 
There we go. Yes, I'm rinsing my brush out in the water because it's just a little easier. So, there we go. That's it. Now, I'm going to dry it. Hey, Colleen. So, for those who came in, I'm working on my cards for school. I have to actually finish them today or as many as I can today because tomorrow afternoon <coughs> I have to go into school to punch in report cards and I told the principal I would have as many of these ready as I could and where's my paper towel? I need to do a couple of clouds before this completely dries. Oh, it dried too much. Dang it all. That's okay. I can just wet it again. I'll use this other one. Wet it and remove it. time on that one for in order for it to lift. Hey Kathy! Nice to see you. It's okay Kathy, I've taught them all how to read typos so don't worry. They knew what you meant thanks to me. Alright, so there's my clouds. Let's finish drying it. Thank you, Colleen. And so then I have, for those of you who just came in, this is going to be the background. And I have a kite, and I'm going to use string for the tie. Or I might draw it in, I haven't decided yet. I would love like to use string, but I might have to just draw it in, because, yeah. And um, then I have We'll Miss You cut out also on my... That's okay, Dee Dee. Work away. So you pull your tape at a 90 degree angle. Oh, this was this one was on first, not that one. It is taking up a little bit of the watercolor paper, but I, that doesn't matter to me that much. So the cards are going to be 5 by 7 because they need to be large enough for staff members to sign. I didn't get that one quite wide enough, but that's all right. There we go. One completed. All right. So, do you guys think that looks okay? Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Rain. 
So I think it'll make them like nice, worth it, like something you couldn't buy in a store. Most of them I think will appreciate it. Most of them are very nice people. And then for the inside I have, some of them are teachers and some are educational assistants that are leaving. So I have a slightly different quote for inside. I think I'm going to do two at a time. I should have enough space to do two at a time. I'll make it go faster. Just a simple background. I mean, I have to make 17. I can't do something too complicated. And the kites and the words are all going to go through. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Hey, B3. Woohoo. So, uh, B3, when do you guys finish school? Thank you, Sherry. Oh. for that other one because I can't get that one straight for the life of me. <sighs> Yay, Miko! Hi, Miko! Hey, Susan! Nice to see you! Glad you could make it! It's nice to have everybody here! to everyone who's going to Maryland on the Maryland Facebook page I posted a picture of what's going to go on the t-shirt or the aprons and I need you to tell me by Wednesday which you want and if for a t-shirt what size you want the aprons are all one size they have extra large ties so you can either, if you're a smaller person, you can take them around and tie on front. If you're not a smaller person, then there's plenty of room to tie them at the back. Oh yes, they decided to mow the lawn. And of course, they got around to the front. Right when I'm streaming, and that's with the window not even open. Anyway. Yes. Army Mom Sutton is Linda, and I call her L.A. Linda Army. L.A. So if you hear me say hi to L.A., we're talking to L.A., I'm talking to Linda Army. There. Do two at once. <laughs> B3, that's funny. Oh, Dee Dee, Miko, Miko wants to know. She got you to know. She got your envy today. So Dee Dee's working away, so she might not be reading it. And she's opening it now. It was, it was pouring rain here yesterday. And quite cool. But it is nice and sunny today. And that's going to pull some paint off. So I forgot to de-sticky it. Dang it all. I'm distracted. Yeah, I thought so, Rain. I thought of it when I was doing my other one and saw this, all this extra space. I was like, hello. That's okay, because I have to do an odd number anyway. So unless I mess one up, we're all good. Yeah, use your own 
umbrella or a raincoat, Susan. You're too nice. You're not going to melt because you're not the Wicked Witch of the West. So don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Let's put that underneath. So I get a little bit of an angle there. All right. So let's clear. Let's clean this up. And let's do... enjoy doing watercolor and I have to do more of it I've got lots of nice paper that I bought so you want it to be totally wet because if there's any dry spot you'll get blooms and funny looking stuff going on so you want it to be wet all over and you can tell looking at it at an angle if it's not shiny somewhere then it's not wet in that spot Ooh, well too much wet there need to move it up that way okay i'm just just looking to see all right I'm just using one color, but it gives me enough variations. to the top. And I need a little more water. More blue for the other side here. Oh, okay. Hope that stayed wet enough. It's still wet, kind of, but sides here. Get rid of that. It does dry lighter, so you need to remember that. If I have to wet the bottom again for the grass, that's no big deal. You want to go down below the halfway mark because you want to remember the law of thirds. You don't ever want your horizon to be right in the middle. You either want it up at two thirds or below the middle or above the middle. And I'm going to take out a few clouds here. Not storm clouds. I don't want storm clouds. I want nice white puffy clouds. I think the paper towel works better for that than the baby wipe. I 
we'll get rid of that cloud. I don't want him. Okay, and I think I need to add a little more wet to the bottom here. Or the grass is not gonna flow very nice. the brush. All right. And let's do some nice grass here. Oh, sorry guys. I haven't been watching chat. I apologize if I've missed anything. Ask me again. Karen, nice to see you. Just dry the water brush, pick up any extra along the edges and the bottom if it's pooling on you. You want it to be dry before you try pulling the tape off, or it will pull the paint with it. And remember, everything I know I've learned from YouTube, so there you go. It's about watercolor, YouTube or Didi, or Ustream. Yep. Yes, I will, CB. I will make one now all the way. Yep. Will do. Most definitely. Just let me get these two taken off. Okay, so... 
Alright. Okie dokie. So, let's get this off. I think this was the last one that I put on. This one was. I have to take them off in order since they're all layered. I watched a couple of Lindsay the Frugal Crafters watercolor videos last night before I went to bed just to review what I need to do to refresh because it's been a long time. Not that I've done many anyway, but it's been a while since I've done any, so. Okay, so let's just stack those like that and I can Maybe we use them. Okay. So there's another one. Okay, ended up quite a bit lighter than this one, but that's okay. Oh, that, see, I reused that tape and it went over to the edge, but that's okay. I think I'll cut them down anyway because then I'll get the white edge from the card underneath the card base so it'll still be framed it'll just get framed from the card base underneath so I'm not going to reuse the tape that tape was already used twice okay So I'll do the first one because it's the driest. Those still aren't quite perfectly dry. Let me put this down out of my way. So let's cut a card base. I wasn't even going to have my card bases all cut, but I kind of had a nap this afternoon. Feel like my 110 pound card stuff, but it must be. It does not feel like it though. Did it get mixed up with something? Mm -hmm, must be. Huh. Oh well. Okay. So I need it seven inches and then by ten so let's take this out hey Vicki all right seven inches first get that all the way out seven inches by the way I love my Stampin' Up cutter. The slot here that your blade runs in is so much more narrow than any other trimmers. There's no way your blade's gonna go side by side and make a crooked cut. The arm has a little foot on it, so it's all level. Okay, and then by 10. And then score it at five. And there's room on both ends for you to have both of your, your scoring and your cutting blade there. I do love my Martha Stewart, but if you're just making one card, it's nicer to have this here with the blade with the scoring blade on it oh, everything's getting in the way okay. 
actually, I think I'm going to work on this just to make uh, on a clean piece. Just to make sure nothing comes up from my mat and gets all over it. It is for a gift. Okay. okay so I think I'm going to trim. trim just a smidgen off that all right so now I'm just going to take a quarter of an inch off so I'm gonna make it four and three quarters or even yeah four and three quarters by six and three quarters we go all right so I need my hold on my gun here my ATG guns hiding okay and I will use lots of ATG tape simply because it's watercolor paper but it shouldn't need Score tape as long as I put plenty of ATG on it. And so what I'm going to do is this the quotes that I have for inside, I'm going to print on regular piece of um printer paper at, excuse me for a minute, let me get this on, finish that sentiment in a moment. Um, I'm going to put it on a regular piece of printer paper that's, um, and I can print one out and do it. I'm going to do it on printer paper so that it is just a little smaller than the inside so like nine and a half by uh, six and three quarters or whatever and then I'm going to adhere it in the middle so there'll be lots of space for people to sign the card the front and the back Oh, poor Miko's having terrible trouble with her phone. <sighs> okay. All right, so there's that. All right, who stole my... Oh, never mind. Found them. So now let's put together a... Okay, so one of those, and then the opposite one. So I didn't really, I tried to leave my, Oop. and then I need 
this one. Oops. And the opposite corner. This one. Uh oh. This is for goodbye card. Goodbye cards for staff members who are going but may not be gone forever. But anyway, you have to give them a gift at the end of the year. Contract D teachers. I am not going around the edge of those. Normally I would if I was just making one of each card. Okay, so... Easiest way to do this would be to do my okay, blue, I guess. Oh, I don't know if that glue is going to come out. I have to poke it. Hold on, I got my other new glue. This one should work. Hey, LJ. I am making going away card. Uh oh, well, that came out. Mm -hmm. I guess I got to transfer some of that over into my fine tip bottle thingy. Gracious, there's enough to do five pieces on this. One retirement card for the principal to make. So these are jelly prints that I'm using, that I used for the kite. is still acting principal and I don't know if she's been if she got the job for next year or not I assume she did so we had an excellent provincial school review with her and everything so I assume they're going to give her the job I can't imagine hey LJ well I did three backgrounds there's the the card base <sighs> I'm just going to dry this so I can see what it looks like without the glue sticking out uh, around it here. So. Oh, 
Hey, Tam. Nice to see you. Now this should really pop up. See, so I was going to use um, string. Which means I have to go way over there in the corner for it. <laughs> so I might just do the string later. Uh oh, what does Mitzi see? Oh, Mitzi, what do you what are you seeing now? I have to go back. You see a face. Gosh darn. She sees a face. Where does she see a face? Where are the Oh with the clouds! <laughs> yeah. Well I'll just hide one of those clouds so you don't see a face anymore. Ah. Okay, so now let's find the words. Okay, so I have the words cut out of both of the same prints, so I'll mix up what I use. So there's the, so I'll use the wheel, oops, the W. tell you, it, I had to really move the blade depth up for my I didn't want to cut this very well, did it? Hold on. I'm just being gentle so I don't tear anything that I don't want to be torn. With all this paint on it, it took quite a bit for it to cut on my silhouette. <laughs> okay, so there's the wheel. Take the middle out of the L there. Oh, and there is a, oh gosh, hold on. There's a little piece on the E there that has to come off. I need the apostrophe too, don't I? It's there somewhere. Where is the apostrophe? Uh-oh. That's not it. But it could be missing. Okay, I'll take I'll steal one of the other apostrophes for now. I might have accidentally thrown it off out. Ah! Okay. Got my fan on and it's blowing the paper a little bit. Okay, I need to use my sticky pick em up thing for that. Wheel. And then I guess I want the U from this color. <laughs> yeah, I know, Karen. We're finally having some nice weather. Well, yesterday wasn't so nice, but Friday, we've had a few ni really nice days. So, I won't complain. We need the rain, so. Uh, 
Okay. And then the miss is going to come out of the orange for this one. This is going to take me a while just getting letters pulled out, but I can't pull them out. I don't want to pull them out until I'm ready to use them or they'll all get mixed up and I'll lose pieces and stuff like that. So that's okay. Welcome back, Abby. Oh, my two S's came apart. Oh, well. Must not have had them joined in well enough. Find my little pokey tool. My little uh, pickup tool here. There it is. All right. Oh, this is the one that's messed up. I need to get my silhouette one, but anyway. All right. Let's take the centers out of the S's. And hope I don't rip anything that doesn't need to be ripped. Darn it. Oh, they didn't come all the way through. Dang it. Yeah, I think I might do this out of different paper because this is too hard I may have to just do it out of plain orange paper cardstock because it's not cutting all the way through the two layers of paint because there's paint on one both sides of it hmm So it's not going through all the layers. Dang it. I did the lovely background with watercolor, Kathy, at the beginning of the stream. I did three examples. Yep, I just used watercolors. Still can't get the middle of that S out. And if I go to cut it, I'm going to cut the poor S in two. That wouldn't be a good thing. Dang it. I want to have at least one. Let's see if I can get another miss out. Okay, there is a miss out. Must be in the bottom of the bag. Let's see if I can find it. Where'd it go? That's the U. Ah! Sorry, I'm looking in a bag for a miss. But I don't see it. I see a U. Hmm. Since I'm going to cut the others out on better paper, I can find another miss here. Maybe one that cut through better. 
I just need the ISS part. I've got the M. Alright, I've had enough. I've had enough of fighting you guys. I really have. Really, 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 really have had enough of fighting these silly letters. Yeah, they're not cutting through right at all. to turn on, let's see, all right, I just need, gosh darn it, they just don't want to come out at all, okay, guys look at that lovely thing I'm will be right back I am going to I know but they want <laughs> I cannot get them out of there maybe if I used a little bolder font can't get them out of the paper and I'm going to rip so many of them that I won't have enough left. So, bye CB! See you! Okay, I apologize again for muting. I'm going to mute. Wow. <laughs> okay, please ignore what I just typed. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, <laughs> For those of you who are watching on the recording, you can't see what I just typed <laughs> in the chat room for everyone who's in chat, but <laughs> yeah, thanks, Vicky. I'll be right back. <laughs> And I'm going to get some string while I do that, while I'm on my feet.
Well, I could not find my twine. I thought I knew right where it was, but... Okay, so... Got my orange paper here. Hey, Cheryl, too. Hey, Carol, Sunset. I can't remember who I said hi to and who I didn't say hi to. Pardon my out of breathness, but... Okay, I think I did unmute, I believe. I think there's just lag. So I'm going to recut the letters out of regular orange card stuff. Well, it's not regular orange. It's it's a it's a textured card stock. So it'll still look nice. There's no way I could if I only had to make one card, I would sit and pick that writing out of the oops and now it's all sticking to the bottom of the thing of course okay but it doesn't matter because I'm recutting it out again anyway so I have to open my well you ask people for their email um Cheryl to Bridgeton Cheryl and they will if they wish give you their address so that's how you get their address just ask okay sorry I can't show you my desktop here while I'm opening this but that's the way it goes when it's okay so I'm going to open No, some of them are joined, Vicki, and some of them are not. So. File. Open. Uh, Okay, I think I can do uh, duplicate for another set and that's all I'm going to get on a page. So let's do edit, select all. Let's move them down some, let's move them over some, so they're not right at the edge, and let's just separate them all a little bit here, because I've got room, and if I have a little more space to cut out, maybe they won't mess up so much. Right, down. Okay, so I can cut 12 from a 12 by 12. So that works good. Yeah, the problem, Vicki, with the letters was because of the cardstock and the layer, two layers of paint, well, several layers of paint on either side, it just did not cut nicely enough for me to get them off without a whole heck of a lot of trouble. So you guys just have to listen to my machine cut here. All right, let's get it cutting and then I'll work on Oh, it's textured cardstock. Probably have it more than I'm going to do more than speed of 3 and send to silhouette. And it should start cutting. And it seems to be sticking onto the mat just fine. Now, next thing is I need some pop dots. 
for the to make Eileen. There you go, Eileen. You can open um, the links for them there, please. Okay. So, Street, yes, I heard about that one. Haven't watched it yet, though. Yep. Um, have you watched WPC 56 yet, Kathy? We're talking about British detective shows. Have you watched WPC 56 yet? That is a good one. It's about, you know, a woman detective in the 50s making, uh, not detective, excuse me woman police officer it's a good show yes it came through Eileen Eileen opened the links All right, so I don't know, should I just draw the, oh man, I wish I knew where, ah! I could always use my uh, dental floss. Kathy. I think there's three seasons of it. It's a current one. Oh, and have you have you watched um, Whitechapel is another good one. Whitechapel is another one I watched. It's really good. Um, Whitechapel. What's the other one? Uh, just a second now. Grant Chester. Have you watched Grant Grant Chester? Okay, so I'm just wondering, guys, if I should just draw. I'm just thinking it's going to be a pain in the patootie trying to glue down a string. Hey, I don't know if I have a... Oh, you do not, Eileen. What do you think guys should I just draw the string I do the it did come with like a string and little flags to put on it the cut
Yeah, I bet, Kathy, I bet. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, that's going to take forever to get through. Well, let's, while we're waiting, let's put another one together. I've got two more ready to go. So instead of just sitting here waiting for my <laughs> machine to cut and doing nothing. All right, I better put this thing back together. I'm going to lose the cover off it and it'll get all stuck with fur. Oh, wait, now that's not the right thing. Here's the cover for... There it is. Mm. Oh, for goodness sakes, why is the desk never big enough? Why is it never, excuse me, big enough? No, I don't think I've watched that one yet, Carol. Okay, so I need seven here. And of course, I'll make, I have lots of leftover. I have lots of printed um, um, scrapbook paper that's just paper that's printed on one side. And I will make the envelopes from that paper. Or one at a time, though. Five. open on me. The next season has already started, Eileen. For Under the Dome, I don't watch it, but I saw it, I'm pretty sure I thought I saw it start last week. Uh-oh. Don't I? Okay. Okay, so four and three quarters. I think this side's the worst side.
Yes, I do need the leg out, don't I? Because it's six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. Okay. So this just needs a teeny smidge off this side. Oops, well, a little more than that, I guess. <laughs> so it didn't take anything off. There we go. And then four and, ah, woohoo, it's done. Four and three quarters. Gosh darn it, I didn't have that held very tight, did I? All right, let's try that again. There, so six and three quarters. Not going anywhere. I prefer to do too much than too little and have it fall apart on me. my way. Oh, sorry about the glare you guys. I'll try and should have a piece of black cardstock there. So there's the other ones. All right, so let's take this out and hope it worked a little better. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm just going to take off what I need here. <sighs> These are just not as sharp as the... Where the... I don't know where the heck my... Where is it? My cricket. Oh, there it is. The Cricut ones are thinner. They do work better. 
gets right under there. Yeah, I don't want to miss that. I'll leave it on there until I need it. Those two S's, what it, well, I don't know why they didn't get welded together, but anyway. And I'll keep the dot of the eye there, too, until the very end when I need it. There. Okay. So the apostrophe and the dot for the eye are still on the page there, or on the mat. Hold on, i got to roll my chair in closer, and there's a piece of paper under it. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use my glue pen here. I think I need a new blade in my silhouette. I think that's the problem. Yes, those S's did not get welded for whatever reason. I know I chose it to weld, but maybe I didn't have it highlighted. I don't know. Whatever. It'll work. So what do you think? Down low and then have the... I think so. Well, that's true, Vicki. That would probably be a lot easier. You're probably right, Vicki. I do have, I have a orange Sharpie that would be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> you are right. When I do these, I will not use these this pen for all of them. When I do them in multiples, I will have some glue out on a piece of plastic and I'll just pick them up with tweezers and like dip it into the glue probably rather than coloring on the back of all these but because i'm only doing one i'm not going to put glue out and then perhaps mess it up thank you kathy but i do like your idea vicky with the orange marker most definitely will do that because those apostrophes and the dots are pretty small. But I do love these pens that are, this glue pen that is like a pen. It's great for these. Skinny letters. Hey Barb. Nice to see you. 
Hey, Sandra. Nice to see you. So I'm just putting together some, these cards I'm doing for school. I'll be in mass production tonight while Joe's on and whatever. I also have a baby boy card and I have a retirement card. So I have two separate other ones to make as well. The retirement card I have already. Oh man, I think I put the glue on the wrong side of that. I did. Okay, that's all right. No harm done. <laughs> okay. I'll just dust, it'll stay sticky. I'll just dust some uh, powder over it. sakes Jo is stars art she does some great mixed media canvases and she comes on when I'm done I don't see her yet in chat yes she streams after me oh hi Denise I missed you coming in sorry about that Joe is stars art s t a r z a r t or joe 946 j o 946 <gasps> oops no don't need that to end up on the floor cuz i'll lose pieces oh for heaven's sakes Yeah, Joe946. Thank you, Vicki. And if I missed anyone else while I was <sighs> MIA from the keyboard getting stuff or whatever, not paying attention to chat, you know, it's been one of those streams where I thought I was ready and then I had to get this or that. So I apologize to those who are on YouTube. Those people who like to comment saying, wish your stream wasn't, wish your video wasn't so long or, excuse me, you should be ready when you start your video and stuff like that. It's like, well, you know what? If you don't want to watch, don't watch. Or fast forward, whatever. It's my stream. I can do what I want. They're not paid tutorials or I would be ready. And I would edit. I do this for me for fun, so hey. <laughs> Vicky. Oh, speaking of Joe, there she is. Hi, Joe. <laughs> uh, yes. Don't worry, Vicky, when I'm doing the others. 15 or 14, I will be doing them an easier way. But at least you gave me the idea for the marker. Oops.
She usually streams at 7 Eastern because I'm usually done at 8. But if I'm done early, she comes on a little early. So. And I have the perfect marker to do the apostrophe. I'll use those markers and I think I'll draw. So I'm going to mute one more time. Be right back. Joe, your picture was great. Okay. So, sorry, Eileen, what were you saying? Oh, yes, well, I will probably use, I will use my, um, Actually, no, I'm not going to use glue. I'm going to use my Xyron. Yeah, well, I don't like to... If I put double-sided tape, I'd waste an awful lot. So I'll just put them through my Xyron. I'll probably even put the... Uh, I'll probably even put my thing through the Xyron. All right, so I have two sets of these. The graphic by... Who makes them? Um, Derwent. The Derwent Graphic Writers. Okay, so let's just test the color of the orange. It should, it's going to be lighter, but it should be fine. That'll be fine. And I'm going to use it for the flag as well. Why does that not want to stay on the end? All the others, it stays on the end. That's weird. Okay. Anyway. I am not gluing them all with that glue pen. Believe me. Only because we're doing... And then I think I'm just going to draw the curvy line of the kite, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so I wonder, oh, there doesn't appear to be a red. I was going to say the red would have been closer in color. 
Ah, that's all right. I got a glue glob coming out there. Dang it all. That's all right. I'll just make a... Just trying to make it a little thicker here. Excuse my head. I apologize. I'm probably in front of the camera. Thank you, Vicki. Okay, and then I need to do a little legs, like bows, put one up here. What do you think, you guys? Yeah, I probably will do that next time, Vicki. It'll make it easier. For sure. For sure. I have to fix the end of that Y because it might get caught on something. Yeah, thank you. Let's fix this end of this Y. Didn't get enough glue on it. Okay. Okay. Joe goes, Gene, it looks, oh crap. <laughs> Ad. Ah, thank you, LJ. <laughs> ah. I won't be a whole lot longer because I've got to go and do more of the, I've got to get these going in uh, half an hour at the most, Joe. It says, say, 6.30 Eastern. Another half hour, 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, true, Eileen, true. Okay. So, I like that. I like that. All right, so let's print off an inside here. You guys can look at that while I print off the inside. And I guess I should have been zoomed in a little better. Hold on. Let me zoom in a little. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Click the wrong thing. And let's 
do auto focus for a moment. Move my hand through so it'll focus and then, okay. Take it off. All right. Now let me go and open Word. And open Print Shop. Okay. Alrighty. It will be nice to have Joy to Joe to watch and listen to while I madly go through the other rest of these. By, by making them all the same, no one can complain that so-and-so's is better than so-and-so's. And I've got my limited edition stamp here. I know yeah. that's true Vicki I can always cut them apart I can always cut them apart and I think I just want to use my regular gel pen for my signature there we go so I guess I should uh... so there's my stamp and my signature okay so what I want is I need to turn this to this and I need to copy and paste so come on stop it I've got too many things open my computer's being slow on me okay close that file open Okay. Thank you. It's a great stamp. I like it. Oh gosh, darn Jean. She stews. <sighs> okay. Let's pull this over a little bit. Now, the sentiment is Education is for improving the lives of others, for leaving your community, the world better. That's not, that's not the one I want. Oh yeah, you are always a student, never a master. You have to keep moving forward. A teacher affects eternity. This is what I'm gonna use for the teachers. A teacher, a, a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. That's Henry Adams. Okay, copy, paste. Bye, Miko. Now I need to change Oh Okay, hold on. I don't want it to paste as a
Ah, text block. And I need to make it bold and I need to make it larger and I need a better, sorry you guys, it's boring for you guys to watch. Let's see how big I want it. Make it a little bit bigger and make this whoops okay so sorry guys I'm just uh, editing something here if my computer would work like it should I would show you what I'm doing but since today it wouldn't pick up my manicam for whatever reason. <sighs> okay, insert. I'm just going to put in a box because I want to make sure it fits in with the Seven, not seven though. I'm gonna do well, I'll do it seven by ten, and then that way I'll know to cut the equal amounts off each side. Let's get that to the back. Yes. Sorry, folks. Sorry, sorry. And that should work for the middle. Where's the middle going to be? The middle is going to be there for the fold. Okay, so that should work. take off this all right okay I want to save this as teacher insert and put it on my desktop save print So I want it printed on the best quality. Print. All right. It'll take a minute because my, oh there, my printer's waking up. Apologize for that huge glare. I think I need to go. I just may mess this up, but I better not. If I do, I'll scream.
sorry I just had to outline these letters I just could not leave them so I'm messing it up oh well should have just left good enough alone needs to dry because those markers are like paint markers so <gasps> what on earth did that do I've not had it do that to my paper before. Of course, I've never used it on just printer paper before. Huh. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. Doesn't like printer paper very much. Wow. Okay. Is there something stuck in the no, I don't see anything in there. Okay, this may be a little bit smaller than I thought. There's something weird going on. Really weird. There has to be something stuck in that. Oh, there is. it out yet. Sorry. A piece of paper is stuck in there. Um, where's my most pointy scissors? These little ones, I guess. Got it out. I think I got it all out. All right. Uh oh, Denise. All right, so I need to cut even more off. I think I just need to print another one because this is not going to be in the middle now. Oops. I'll see first. Okay, I'm going to go from this end and up because that piece of paper is messed up. There. Yeah, I have to print another one because that's not even going to be in the middle. Uh, shouldn't take as long this time though because my printer's already set up to go. Yeah, well, we've got June bugs, and that's bad enough. Thank you very much. I don't want any other kind of flying bug. No way, Surrey Bob. All right. All right. Let's try this again. So I just want to take a little bit off the top. Okay, I'm going to go from here and up. There we go. Phew. All right, so then it just has to be 
little less than seven. I'll do seven, six and seven eighths. How's that? Sorry, you guys. Oh, see? Doesn't want to cut going that way. Something wrong with the blade. I must complain and get it blade replaced. It cuts fine for... Okay, and then... It's 11, so let's take a half an inch off each way here. So it's a half an inch plus a little bit. Okay, so it's in the middle. No, nope, there's something wrong with the blade going that way. Something happened. Okay, and then, let's see, 10. Seven eighths. No, I'll do three quarters because it's easier to do. Hey, <laughs> it's easier to score in half when you're at. I think I should. Yeah, definitely something wrong with the blade. That side of the blade. Something happened to that side of the blade. I know, Vicky, but it cuts so nice. But I don't know, it has to be the blade. I must have done something. I don't know, maybe there's glue on the side of it. I may just have to... Uh... Oh, and I didn't get that printed very well, did I? in the middle. It's a little over to the side. Hmm, that's okay. Thank goodness I'm only messing up. Yeah, okay, that'll be easier if I do it that way. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not going to take any off this end. Okay, that makes better sense. Okay, and let's not take any off the top either. Okay, let's do it that way. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Yes, yes, yes. I'm testing. I always have to do, once I get it set, I will save it as the way I want it, and then none of the others have to worry. Okay. No, Denise, the reason I'm cutting it this way is we have a whole, we have like 35 people who have to sign it. There's 35 people who have to sign the page. So that's why I want these extra, the extra um, paper for signatures. Give it a colored border. <sighs> I mean, I mean. Yep. Well, I'm going to have to get another blade out because that's going to drive me crazy when I'm trying to cut these down. Oh. 
Wow. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put two pieces in and see if it'll work better on two pieces. Has anyone else ever used the Stampin' Up! cut trimmer to cut just... I never had this issue with cardstock at all. Oh, sick. I don't want ten. I want nine and three quarters. See, when there's two pieces in there, there's no problem. Hmm, really weird. All right. And now, at Oh, yeah. Duh. Good idea, Bunny. Duh. Okay, never thought of that. See, because I always draw the blade towards me. Um, how does one take it out? I don't even know how to get the blade out. Oh, see, now there's, see, now there's paper stuck down here. That's what it is. There's still paper stuck in the in the thingy. And it just got pushed down. Oh, I need a pokey tool. Oh, excuse me for a second. Okay, I guess is Joe uh, ready to come on, you guys? Hello, Joe, are you ready to come on? Because I'm getting ticked off here and I need more to eat than I had. I only I didn't have any pro I only had brown rice. I need some chicken or something. Okay, and some vegetables. <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to take my magnifying glass and make sure there's no more paper. Oh, there's another piece. <sighs> All right, so I think let's hope that was the issue. Yeah, I was trying, but I was worried to pull it too hard and break it. But anyway, I don't need to do that right now online. Okay, so this... Oh, We'll go in here. So, here is my glue. I'm just going to take some glue, put it on my finger. Run it down the folded edge here. Because, yeah, I'm not going to poke holes and put ribbon in it because, no. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. This will work just fine. I just have to make sure I don't put it in upside down.
And this is Quick Tack, Scotch Quick Tack, Quick Dry, Tacky Glue, I should say. Quick Dry, Tacky Glue by Scotch. There. Nah. <laughs> oh, Eileen, come on, be nice. I'm too lazy to sit and cut French fries with my potato from my potatoes. So for 16 bucks, I got a star frit French fry cutter. So there. So now we have room yeah and I can't move it yet because it's not dry so we have lots of room for signatures here I may have to put a staple in there <laughs> I've got a long long arm stapler so if that doesn't work which it doesn't appear to be working See, I do this all at once, so once I get the glue out, I won't have to keep. Long arm stapler is always good. If this doesn't work. Yeah, I do. Yeah, good idea, Vicki. I'll do that. Hey, Colleen. Nice to see you. Ha, 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 Eileen. You are so funny. So, so funny. I saw it, Vicki. I saw it. Colleen with two L's and Colleen with one L. Okay. Anyway, there we go. The inside says, a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. I may have to change that to she for some of them. No, not a peeler. I never peel my potatoes. But there are electric peelers, but no, not a peeler. It just cuts them. You just put the potato in, poof, and it pushes out, makes french fries. So, I have to make 15, 15 like this, plus a retirement card and a baby card, baby boy card. Thank you, Denise. Hey, Jillian. Ooh, what's that? What's that, Jillian? I need to know. Anything that'll help my knees. I'm just doing a little uh, pressing here. Okay, so let's see if that's... Ah, oh, there, I got it this time. So that gives lots of room for people because, you know, they want to write a message. I don't want them to only have room to just write, like, hello, goodbye. But if they want to write a little message, there'll be space.
were talking about, Jillian? Oh, <laughs> I don't have arthritis in my hands. So let's hope it stays out of my hands. Only in my knees. Phew. Yeah, um, just look on Amazon under electric potato peeler. Anyway, so I shall go, you guys, because I told Joe 730. So she can come on. So Joe is Starzo, Stars Art, or Joe, J O 946. You can find her. I'm going to go and put on. I've got some chicken wings in the fridge, and I've got a salad ready to go. So I am going to do that. So thanks everyone for coming and I hope they like the cards if they don't too bad so sad so you can see I did a little uh, shading on the string there and on the letters so it's kind of unisex male or female it'll work for both so, thanks everyone. See you later. See you at Joe's. Once I tell Joe I'll be there once I get my uh, chicken wings in the fridge or in the oven. <laughs> Thank you for if you're watching recording. Thanks so much.